Hey guys, it's Shantae, Miss Pinkarella coming by with a um, DIY video. I just wanted to share with you guys how you can um, try and create your own little accessories um, with things that you purchase um, at the beauty supply store or wherever you might find um, inexpensive jewelry. Um, Today I'm going to share with you how to how you can create a matching ring to this necklace. And it's just a heart necklace and I've tried to upload, do this video a few times and I'm working with a new camera and I realized after I got halfway through it was not recording. Um, and unfortunately the battery is about to die so I'm going to try to do this as quick as possible. So what I did was remove the pendant from the chain and I had to use some little tools, um, jewelry making tools to remove it from the little um, bail on the chain. And I just removed it from that. And what you're going to need is, you know, whatever charm you're going to use to create the ring from. Um, you'll need a ring base, which you can, I believe they have them in Michael's and like Joann's. Um, I'm not really sure, but I buy mine from a um, beading supply store here um, where I live. And you're going to need some very good industrial strength glue. And what I'm using is the E6000 glue. I'm still trying to figure out how to use this camera, y'all. So bear with me, and I'm sorry. But um, so basically, what you're gonna do is take your pendant that you're using, as well as the ring base, and you're gonna apply some glue to that. I gotta clean this off. Um. This glue is very strong, guys, so be careful with using this. Um, it has a very strong odor as well. And it sticks pretty well. And I believe the, it cures in about um, 24 hours, but it dries fairly quickly. But for it to be set in stone, I would give it 24 hours before you try to wear it. But basically, is there's the glue adhered, well, applied to the ring base. What I'm going to do is turn my pendant on the back. I'm going to find the middle. And I'm going to place that ring base down on the back of the pendant, like so. And this is an adjustable ring base, so you can stretch it open or squeeze it tighter to fit any ring, any finger size. Um, and basically, there you have it, is your custom-made cocktail ring that I got the matching chain. I have the matching chain for, so, you know, sometimes you might find a little necklace or something that has a charm on it and they don't have earrings to match um you know or a ring that would be very rare to find a matching ring to a necklace with a pendant um basically you can just buy two of them and turn one into your own jewelry you can also turn this into earrings matching earrings um you can turn it into a charm bracelet. You just you can use this chain and open the links and make it shorter to um, fit your wrist. And then you can just there's a hole here from where it hung on the the chain, and you would just put a jump ring through there, and pr probably two because of the thickness on this. Through the hole on the top and attach it to. The bracelet and you can hang and this is one of many of the DIY videos I will be creating for you guys um, I have some other things you know that I want to share the whole videos are coming and um, 
I want to do a contest, but I'm trying to do something different, so I'm still trying to figure out what I want to what I want the concept of my contest to be but hopefully I'll figure it out soon because I really want to have a contest for you guys I really appreciate you guys taking the time out to watch my videos um, and subscribing to me oh man I got some of this on my desk um, but I can show you real quick how to do another one like this this um, pendant was on this necklace that I got from the body shop some people know it as body central because the chain is all discolored now so I refuse to wear it so instead of getting another chain to put this on I'm going to turn it into a ring and that's this is the back of it so what I'm going to do is take my ring base which I should have a gold one but I don't right now so for this video I'm just going to use this and nobody won't see it anyway unless I take the ring off and yes, yeah, so Mom, go tell Dad to fix you some, okay? Okay. Watch the camera, okay? And I'm just gonna apply the glue to the base, to the ring base. Oh, I'm in the camera. And I just want to give it a generous amount. And because that is crisscross in the back, I have you know the perfect place to put it it's right in the middle so I'm just gonna apply that right to the center and there you have it so this has to dry this is gonna take a little while because this is metal on metal but um as you can see that's the ring base applied and that's the front of the ring and I'm just going to set it upside down so that it can dry and this one is fairly set so I can put it on my finger at least to show you guys the ring you can see so that is my DIY, DIY video for you guys um one of many to come and i hope you enjoyed and guys please don't forget to rate comment and subscribe and again i thank you for watching and i love you guys and i really appreciate you stopping by my channel thank you guys and until next time be blessed love you